Well, while we're waiting for our other parts to come in, let's go ahead and see if we can fix this uh, recoil on here. As you can see, the rope is just laying out there. We'll put this here back in. It'll come out with the lid, the cover. Okay, we'll take this off. Now we see why it's not winding back. It's full of crud. See it all in there? But we'll get it. And down here. In there. We'll clean that all out. Let's see if we can get the tension off of that spring. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to take this recoil apart. This one we don't have to worry about the pressure on it. The spring's broken inside. You can see that bolt had Loctite on it, so we'll make sure we put some on there. In the spring, little dogs, and right there, you can see the spring's broken. Even though it's broken, it's still got pressure on it. Okay, there's that piece. Let's get rid of that. Now we got to get this in out. Well, that's that piece of it, I guess. Okay, there we go. Let's get this all wiped out and cleaned up and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, it says, now that we've I've got this cleaned up, it says, uh, clean inspect whenever a part is worn, excessive cracks or damage in any way, replace it as necessary. And uh, we've looked at this over and it says clean all components, which we did. And uh, inspect the spring and ratchet for wears or damage. Inspect the reel in case of cracks or damage. Inspect the shaft for, for wear, cracks or damage. Inspect the rope for frays or breaks. Inspect the spiral spring for cracks, crystallization, or abnormal, be abnormal bends. Inspect the handle for damage, cracks, or deterioration. And if all that's good, then we can go ahead and assemble. And I want to show you how this spring came to me in the mail today. It's wound up and it's got this piece of steel holding it in place. So, let's go ahead and put this in the center. But uh, this goes in there like this. Goes like that. Almost messed up. It says spring spiral spring must seat evenly in the recoil case. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that off without getting hurt. Sorry you didn't get to see that, but I was afraid it was going to hit me in the face. There it is. I guess that worked out pretty easy. Of course, I say that we ain't finished yet. Hmm. I 
apply a low temperature grease to the spring. So let's uh, let's put a little grease on that spring. Okay, we're going to wrap the rope around here clockwise and leave about 20 inches of rope hanging out from the reel. That's about it. We're going to put this in the notch. Okay, we're going to put uh, these pieces in here like that. We got to get our, I'm not putting our uh, Loctite on here yet. I'm just making sure this don't all fly apart. Got to make sure everything's lined up. Don't want to break nothing. See, that works free. Okay, now it said rotate it clockwise four turns. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Made that look hard. Okay. I can take my safety glasses and everything off now. I got some Loctite to put on there. It calls for 243, and all I got some 242. So that's what I'm going to use. Why did I put the cap back on? It says tighten securely. Okay, there it is. You spring back in there just that easy. If you want to call that easy. Okay, got my gasket in. You can see right there it's uh, 3304-101. I made that look hard.
and the longer bolts go in where the relining pins were. There it is.